Good morning everyone. So uh, today I will be discussing to you on how to write the survey questionnaire for your descriptive researches, especially those who will be conducting descriptive researches and survey questionnaires. So this is only for them, you know. Uh, okay, so let's get started. So first, we define what a research survey questionnaire means. A survey questionnaire in descriptive research is a series of questions used to gather information about a phenomenon or population's characteristics. Descriptive research is a method that focuses on what of a research subject rather than the why. It is often used in fields like social research, psychology, market research, and politics. So we have had a uh, brief presentation of this one. We have had a prior uh, discussion for this one. So no need to be uh, Okay, so these are the basic guidelines on how to write a survey questionnaire. Number one, it should be aligned with the objectives of your research study. That is number one. Okay, that is what we should focus on. And number two is observe parallelism in your statement. So, during our previous discussion, sinabi ko sa inyo na if you are going to start with a positive statement, it should also, uh, all the rest of the statements should also be positive. If you started with a negative statement, then all the succeeding statements should also be negative. Okay, so here is an example. So, this is a research study of uh, Great Tulb Sagittarius, one of the groups, you know. So it is entitled, The Economic Effects of African Swine Fever Among Pigeri Owners, Its Impact to Their Preventive Mechanism. Okay, so first we identify the variables. Saan kaya dyan yung mga variables natin? The effects of African fever to Pigeri Owners, Its Impact to Their Preventive mechanism. So what is the impact of the economic effects to the preventive mechanism of the spigeri owners of Kasibu? So our independent variable is the economic effects and then the dependent variable is the impact to their preventive mechanism. Okay, so let's check the uh, sample questions or survey questions. We have here section 1. Okay. So, in your section 1, pwede rin yung gayahin to, no? You may also use a checklist. Yan. Kapag sinabi natin checklist, uh, dyan sila maglalagay ng mga general uh, general status ng tungkol sa hinahanap ninyo sa kanila. So, for example, okay, so here is the direction here. Please check all that apply to your experience as a pigeri owner regarding African swine fever and its economic effects. So you are gathering data if they have an experience of uh, ASF. Yeah, so number one, I have experienced an ASF outbreak. I have implemented preventive measures. And so I, my business incurred financial losses due to ASF outbreaks. I have received government assistance. I have reduced the number of pigs I raised due to ASF concerns. So they are going to check if that experience applies to them as piggery owners. So that is only section 1, ano? Wala pa dyan yung hinahanap natin. That is only a general information. Okay, section 2. Dito na tayo magsisimula ng Likert scale. Pwede rin namang sa section 1, diretso na agad kayo sa Likert scale. But uh, that is just optional, ano, yung checklist na sinasabi natin. So, economic, uh, on section 2, alright, so we are now going to answer one of the variables, which is the independent variable, the economic effects. Bigyan natin ng mga statements, yung economic effects. Okay? Let's give um, survey questionnaires to identify what economic effects did the ASF cause to the Pigeri owners? Yeah, so they are going to rate themselves according to their level of agreement. Okay, number one, strongly agree. Number two, disagree. Number three, neutral. Number four, agree. And number five, strongly agree. Take note, isang 
variable pa lang itong tinatanong natin, ano? Okay. Ayan. So, these are examples. The outbreak of African swine fever has significantly impacted my financial stability. So, does that answer economic effects? Ayan. The direct cost of ASF prevention measures is too high for my business to bear. It also economic. It is. It also uh, refers to economic effects. I have experienced a decrease in pig production due to ASF. That is also economic effect. Ano yung effect sa kanila ng African fever, swine fever. My piggery has incurred financial losses because of ASF related rates. Yan. The ASF outbreak has led to an increase in the price of pigs. So that is economic effects. Okay? Item 6 to 10, parehas din lang. It also refers to economic effects. Yan. Section 3. Yan na. Pag natapos natin sinagutan o binigyan ng mga katanungan yung tungkol sa hinahanap natin, we are looking for their status on the economic effects of ASF to the swine owners, ngayon naman, dito sa si section 3 ng ating questionnaire, hanapin naman natin kung ano yung epekto, no? Kung ano yung effect no? Uh, economic effects ng African fevers, swine fever sa kanilang preventive mechanism. Yan. So, parehas din lang, no? They are going to rate themselves according to their level of agreement. Yan. So, number 1, example. The ASF outbreak has prompted me to increase biosecurity measures on my farm. Okay, does that refer to how it impacted their preventive mechanism? Yes. Yan. So, anong isatagot nila dyan? The cost of implementing preventive measures, example, sanitation, vaccinations, has increased significantly due to ASF. Ibig sabihin yan, ang ibig sabihin yan, um, mas gumawa sila, gumawa daw sila, no, ng preventive measures dahil sa ASF. Number three, I have had to adjust my farming practices to better protect my pigs from ASF. So, saan yung preventive mechanism dyan? Yung adjusting my farming practices. Number four, the ASF outbreak has led me to Invest more in farm infrastructure. Example, fencing, disinfection facilities. Yan. So, those are examples of preventive mechanisms. And more of that. Ano? Okay? So, I have provided at least 20 questionnaires for the last part or for section 3. All for, all to identify how the economic effects of ASF impacted their preventive mechanism.